Okay, so uh, you saw that we did a little hole patterning and layout work with uh, just uh, um, a little square and our uh, rivet layout tool here to get the spacing. Just, you know, the I don't know what the spacing is. I just know that they're equal dimension. We just have a series of holes all the way around. Um, and I want to take a minute to talk to you about this uh, step bit set. And uh, these guys sent me this to check out and um, so I thought I would use it to put the holes in this uh, plate here that I'm, I'm making for another project. But um, the cool thing about this step bit set is you get in one package, you get um, essentially 50 drill bit sizes. So we are going to, you know, one of the things that I noticed about this uh, set here are the points and uh, one of the advantages to using this type of type of bit on a, a hole layout like this where you're trying to catch a center punch mark is, you know, unlike a regular drill bit, and let me just grab one and show you. This is a 3 8 inch uh, split point drill bit. And, um, you know, you can see in the camera it, its ability to start and grab and pick up those hole locations is pretty limited there, you know, and, and trying to chuck this up and get that to grab a hold of that uh, point is tricky, as I said. But if you notice, this has a really fine point, small point, and I love making this, uh, holes with these kind of things. And um, you probably can't see it in the camera, but it does have markings here that uh, will allow you to pick what hole size you want. And if you wanted to just take a mark, you know, find your hole location, let's just say we're gonna make it 3 8 which is this one right here, and just put a little mark on that and that way you can always or better yet down in here so that you can see what you're doing you know and and plunge it into the same depth every time so let's take this thing over to the drill and uh throw it up in the uh in the chuck and see how quickly we can get these holes uh punched in here evenly all right we're over here on the little baby uh millwrights milling machine and we're going to use this like a drill press today so um, and go ahead and get our holes popped in here really quick and uh, one of the things I just wanted to point out that I noticed that uh, sometimes when you buy these type of bits like at Harbor Freight or wherever they'll have a round shank on them and that's not really good for this type of work or even in a hand drill you want it with the flats on it so it can so it the the jaws of the chuck can grip down on it and not have it spin in the in the jaw on you so we'll get this in here and get our holes in it I was going to show you this real quick uh, once we get going this will be kind of loud but um, one of the things that just a tip on using this this kind of drill bit is uh, once it gets going as you start to come down and pick up the hole if you just gently let it uh, let this piece sort of be loose in your hand. It will find the center and pick up the exact center of that hole location and start the hole right where you want it. So we're going to get going now. As you can see, we got our... Uh, holes laid out they're nice and even the uh, they ran great the uh, little step bit that we used uh, still looks sharp it's not overly hot just took it out of the, the drill press um, you can see some of the coating starts to come off of it that's normal any kind of drill you know you when once you use it you get the coating coming off of it but the point doesn't look uh, like it's been disturbed at all or you know um, uh, sort of bent over or anything. It's got a sharp edge on it still and it and it was Cutting just the same as we got to the end of it. So, you know fairly uh, Pleased with what I see so far given the value of this little set here um, I'm gonna show you one more thing about hole layout and using one of these other bits um, So let's just say I wanted to get some larger holes down the center uh, evenly spaced um, So let's let's do all 
All right, this is our little DIY hole punch station here. And if you're interested in learning more about this and how it works and, and um, how you can make one for yourself, I'll have a link uh, on the screen right now and in the description of the video to my video where I made this. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. But for now, we've laid out another series of holes and we're gonna make those uh, holes larger the thing, the bad thing about this is you're limited in the number of, of size holes you can make with it. I've, I can only make about four or five different size holes with it. So we want to make a really large hole, um, let's say three quarters of an inch hole all the way down the center. So, but to make ourselves, to make the drilling process easier, we're going to go ahead and punch the hole to get it opened up and we're going to large it with one of the step bits. So let's take a, take a stab at getting this done here. All right, so we got our step bit set out again, and uh, this particular one here goes from a quarter inch all the way up to an inch and three eighths. So we're gonna find um, three quarters of an inch and mark it here. So I'm just marking that so I can see it when it's going around. And then when we get done, we'll, we'll take it over and measure it and see how close to three quarters of an inch we got with it. So you saw how quick that was to get those holes punched. And, um, but again, we want them to be three quarters of an inch and this will be a good way to do it. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. Just a video to show you how to quickly get a pattern and a series of holes into steel really quickly um, using a few different techniques and using this um, step drill set. If you're interested in something like this, I'd highly recommend that you don't waste any time. You don't make any notes on it. You just go right now to the link in the description of the video, click on it. It'll take you out to Amazon. It's $22. 50 different hole sizes, stepped up, really good for sheet metal and thinner materials like the one here. Um, and, and just get it, you know, and that way you've got it. It's a backup to your other drills. You can use it in a hand drill or, or a drill press as you saw. Um, so go check the, the link. And just for the record, I'm not making a dime on this. I'm just doing this to help these people out. So uh, go check it out. See you guys.